Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something very different but kind of long awaited. I've been talking about doing this video for the past couple of months. Never really felt like it was the right time to film it but today I'm here and I'm filming it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and let's just get started. Before I fully get into this video I just want to say that if anything to do with weight loss, weight gain, eating, exercise, body image, um, anything of those sorts triggers you, then please don't watch this video. I'm making this video just to sort of tell my story and give some advice about things that have helped me over the years, but I don't want this video to trigger anyone in any way possible. So please just don't watch this and click off now if that does trigger you. The first thing I just wanna say before I get into the story is that I'm a very strong advocate of your body and your size and all of this stuff doesn't actually matter. I just want to make that very clear. It doesn't indicate how happy you're going to be and it doesn't indicate how healthy you are. So I just want to clarify that at the beginning of this video um, because this topic is very controversial and people do have their opinions and the opinions vary massively and this is all coming from my own opinion um, and my own story and experience so yeah that is my my first statement that I just want to say before I get into anything else so by the title of this video and whatever the thumbnail is going to be you can probably see what I'm going to be discussing about I've had a very long sort of body image journey and weight loss, weight gain journey. And I feel like it's a really important story to share with people because some people just have no idea of like what goes on behind the scenes in other people's lives. Just different things that have caused these things in my life and how they've affected me. And if this video can help someone, then that's all that I really want. Okay, so I was filming with natural light, but we've just we're just going with the studio light now because um, <laughs> there was someone like staring at me through the window. So when I, w I can remember being so young and caring about like weight and body image and stuff, literally primary school age. And so it's something that's just ingrained in our society. And unfortunately, even children worry about what they look like and how much they weigh and their size. And it's really, really upsetting, but that's just the way society has been and I'm really glad that nowadays it is changing um, hopefully to become better because of the experiences that a lot of people of my generation have had. So I remember always being very like conscious of what I looked like and how big I was and how much I weighed and stuff from a very young age um, and I would say from the age of like 14 to 18 I had a really really negative relationship with food and exercise. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because it's something that I don't really like talking about but I want to share as much as I can to help anyone that I can help. So I would have a very negative relationship with restricting what I ate, over exercising and then when I felt like I had reached a goal or I was on holiday or something I would literally eat everything in sight and put all the weight back on again. And like this was really, really negative, especially for the age I was. Like it was quite damaging probably to my health at that time. And also it was during the best years of your life where you're supposed to be socializing loads. And, and I didn't socialize because I didn't want to eat in front of people. I would say no to things and I would want people to come to my house so I could be in control of the food. And now on reflection, like I know all this, but at the time I didn't really realize, like it was just part of my mindset. Um, but yeah, I would avoid going to places because of food being involved and I would spend a lot of my free time exercising and it was really negative. And I'm very, very lucky that I came out of that like very intense stage quickly. Like that very, very intense stage only lasted a couple of months, but those couple of months were very detrimental to my mindset and stuff. So I came out of that quickly, but still continue to have quite like a bad cycle relationship with like restricting and then eating everything. Um, and I'd say this only really stopped like 
in lockdown maybe like a year or two ago properly um and it's just when i realized like balance is so much more sustainable and it's a lifestyle it's not just like a diet and then eating everything after the diet and starting another diet it was just like a lifestyle change and in the first lockdown i was like right i need a lifestyle change um and this is where i've clicked out of that habit I've had to write a list of notes because I know I'm just going to blab otherwise. I'm not going to actually talk about any actual weight as in like what number I weigh or anything like that. Um, but I basically have sort of been like the same weight um, in my late teens till I started uni. And my first year of uni I didn't put on weight. I was very much just like stayed the same. Um, and when it changed for me was... Um, at the end of first year I went to Bali in Australia with my friend Jess and I decided to go on the pill just to like just for easiness um, just for ease when we were traveling um, with like lack of toilets around the place and things like that so basically I went on the pill for that reason and also I had really bad hormonal acne I've spoken about that in several videos but I went on the pill to try and help that and to make it easier when I was in Bali and when I was traveling in Bali and Australia, I wasn't doing much exercise other than walking. And I just noticed that I was putting on a lot of weight when we were there, obviously didn't have scales and wasn't weighing myself. I was having a great time. And when we got back from Bali, like a week or so after, I weighed myself and I'd put on nearly two stone in the space of six or seven weeks. And I hadn't been eating like loads and loads more and I was really confused I didn't really understand where that much weight come from like I was eating good food and I was drinking and stuff but not enough to have thought I could have gained that much weight and then I got myself and I just felt awful about myself because I was suddenly the biggest I'd ever been in my life none of my clothes fit me anymore um, I just had the best summer ever and then came back and was just like, oh my god, like, I can't even look at myself in the mirror. Um, and I didn't really know why I'd put on so much weight. Turns out now, I can safely say that the pill can cause weight gain for some people and for me it did. I'm not saying don't go on it, but my experience of it is that it just, that pill did not work for me. And that was the reason that I gained so much weight because it seemed like it was the common factor sort of thing um so i had a massive hormone imbalance and blah 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 my skin was still bad but i put on a lot of weight and i was really really self-conscious about this and obviously when i was at in bali in australia i didn't know what how much i'd weighed but i was still the same weight as i was when i got back and weighed myself but i was having the best time and whatever so this just shows you that like weight doesn't define your happiness because I was still happy before that. Um, and so yeah, I now had a very different body type. <laughs> My boobs grew about five sizes, I'm not even kidding you. Um, yeah, I, I'd just gotten a bit bigger. And I don't think a lot of people really realise, but like to me it was quite noticeable when I look back now. And then... I was trying to get rid of this weight, I was trying to just sort of get back to where I was, but I was doing it in a very healthy way, going to the gym, blah blah blah, still eating very balanced meals, but it wasn't shifting at all, and this is all to do with the hormone imbalance as well. And then unfortunately my grandma passed away that autumn, winter, and I can't speak. <laughs> And um, I think one of my ways of dealing with that, and I think that one of my ways of dealing with that was by just eating. Um, and yeah, I just basically carried on eating loads. Uh, I was still exercising quite a lot, but I was using food as a proper comfort thing. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I just still couldn't lose that weight that I was trying to lose. Uh, and then Christmas happened and, you know, no one's going to try and lose weight over Christmas. It's just impossible. And it got to New Year's and I, I remember taking photos on New Year's Eve and looking at them and thinking, oh my goodness, like, I don't even look like myself. Like, I just literally hated those photos because 
I just felt like I looked like a different person. That wasn't me that I was looking at. And my mindset was all over the place, obviously, from everything that had gone on. I was so uncomfortable in my own skin, but also was having loads of stuff going on in my life. Um, I then became very anxious. I had, honestly, my second year at drama school, I will do a video about it, but I just had lots of stuff going on in my head and in my own life. And it just wasn't helping because I just could not feel comfortable in my skin. Um, and a lot of these things could also be side effects from being on the pill. I did come off the pill, but like, uh, it can still affect you for quite a while after. But yeah, all these life things that happened to me at that time just weren't helping and obviously, and I just was not in a good place in my head and I couldn't be comfortable in my skin. I stopped going for nights out. I, I just wasn't myself at all. And it's nothing to do with the fact that I was bigger necessarily it's just the fact I wasn't comfortable in my skin and that can happen any size anyway anything and then all these things were thrown at me in my life that meant I was eating unhealthily and I just did, wasn't fueling myself with good food that I normally do because I love healthy food um wasn't exercising as much and things like that and then the lockdown came along um the first lockdown and Honestly, I've said this so many times, but COVID for me has sort of been a bit of a life save, not a life saver, that sounds a bit serious, but the things that have happened to me in the past year and a half have been so pivotal. I literally am back to who I was before. I feel so good about life. I feel so excited about everything. And I'm just back to the real me, which is so amazing. I'm so happy and so blessed. So uh, the lockdown happened and after a few weeks when we knew we were going to be in it for quite a while um, I was like right do you know what my lifestyle is going to absolutely turn around I don't didn't know how long this Covid thing was going to go on for but I said my lifestyle is going to change um, and I just started getting way more into fitness and into nutrition and was eating still like the same sort of things but I was trying new recipes and new foods um, that were really healthy and balanced. I wasn't restricting myself at all. I was going on long walks. I was going running again. I was doing new types of exercise. I was dancing. I was doing loads of stuff that I love doing. And even though I didn't lose loads of weight, it wasn't about that. It was about feeling like myself again and doing things that I love doing and knowing that I was giving myself really healthy food and I was fueling my body and doing exercise I love doing and that was the most important thing and that if you take anything from this video please take that is that it doesn't matter what you weigh because honestly weight is just a stupid thing anyway uh you could have way more muscle mass and way more and oh don't even get me started on all that it's all about how you feel and if you feel great and if you feel like healthy the best version of yourself that is all that matters and that is something that covid really taught me and now i take with me through every day so i got way more into exercise and was loving it and across like three four months i didn't really lose that much weight only a few pounds and like you can lose that however really but i just felt so so confident and amazing and hadn't felt like that in so long last summer i just felt incredible and was just having the best time with my friends i wasn't letting any restrictive mindset stop me from doing things with my friends and family i was just having such a balanced healthy lifestyle and enjoying every minute of it and then i brought that with me into my third year of drama school um but i sort of upped it a bit like i <laughs> because i wasn't socializing we went into other lockdowns and stuff um and i live on my own i was spending a lot of time doing new types of exercise as well as drama school which is very active and drama school being very active in comparison to lockdown is like so incredible and so i was on my feet a lot and i was cooking new healthy meals for myself and then i started to notice that i was just losing a bit more weight um unintentionally really and then the third lockdown january to march of 2021 um i was just going on loads of walks me and my mum were doing some new types of exercise and we started doing a lot more weight exercise than cardio and we were both noticing so much difference and i was working a lot on my upper body strength because i always focus on lower body and cardio and i was like 
no I need to start focus on, focusing on upper body and it's changed my exercise regime it's changed my physique so much and really really happy with that I can now do more because I'm stronger as well and I've just become so happy with the lifestyle that I'm living and it really does show in my confidence everywhere else I think if I went back and watched some of my YouTube videos from when I wasn't very happy and all of that stuff I think I'd be able to tell um because I'm just very different now I feel like I radiate a lot of positivity um and I think as long as you're happy that's the most important thing being smaller doesn't make you happy because I've been a lot smaller than I am now and I didn't have a social life I didn't hang out with friends and family I wasn't eating food and I love food I'm such a foodie <laughs> so it really doesn't make you happy what makes you happy is living the lifestyle that makes you happy and if your lifestyle that makes you happy is one thing and mine is another thing then that's all that matters because you have one life and you've got to live it to the fullest and what makes you happy and I've really found that now in the past year and a bit um, this is the lifestyle I'm going to take with me forward in my life because I love it and if new things come along that's great but yeah I think I'm now back to who I was before all of this stuff happened um, a couple of years ago. I'm just gonna round the video off here saying that even after nearly two stone of weight loss um, that I have done in the past year and a bit, I still look at my body in the mirror and pick out flaws. We are always gonna do that no matter what. I feel like we forget that every single person does that every single person has insecurities and it's just about thinking about what you love about yourself more than the insecurities body is just a vessel at the end of the day what matters is your heart your brain your soul and your body really isn't that important and I just want to round this video off saying that you're all perfect the way you are and weight really doesn't matter if you want to know other details about stuff then please comment them down below um like I can share tips of how I lost weight in the end a bit more specifically but this one is more about like the mindset behind it and the fact that I've come to a really great place where I can talk about this and I could probably go into way more detail about some stuff but I'm not sure whether I want to <laughs> um so yeah it's all about lifestyle change happiness doing what you love doing and not restricting yourself because life is meant to be lived and food is fuel. These are really important things that I say to myself all the time. I hope this video has helped somebody. If you feel like you're struggling with this, then go and see a professional, definitely is important. Don't stay quiet about it, speak to people about it if you can. And yeah, as I said, ask me any questions down below if you want or if you want like videos on how I lost weight or anything like that, um, exercises that I do, meals, then let me know and I will be sure to do those videos. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, bye! <laughs>